I'm Tara. I go by Kits Rare Blooms here on YouTube and on Instagram as well. And this is my very first video, so please be gentle. Uh, I'm a watercolor painter, among other things. And uh, I thought I would just start this YouTube channel just so you could follow me on my art journey. Uh, I'm very much a beginner still. If I learn anything interesting along the way, uh, I will definitely should pass it along to you guys. So what I thought I would do is I will go to a painting and while I'm painting, I'll tell you a little bit about myself and what you can sort of expect from this channel. And if you have any questions, comments, feedback, suggestions, tips, please do pass them on because as I said, this is my first video. I have no idea what I'm doing. And I would really love your guys' feedback and to let me know if this is something you even want to see. <laughs> So I will catch you in the downward, I don't even, what is that called? Is it a flat, flat lay? I don't know. I don't really know. I don't know what I'm doing. I just don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Hello. So here we are again. Um, so I thought I would take a little moment to tell you a little bit about myself. And then I will go and tell you a little bit about the painting and what you can expect from this channel. So, first off, there's something funny going on with my audio, so if my voice sounds a bit weird, that's why it seems to be speeding up my voice a little bit, so I sound a little chipmunky, and I don't normally in real life. <laughs> so, anyway, so I'm Tara, as I said, I am 32 years old, and I live in Scotland. I am American though, which is why I have a bit of a weird accent. I've been living here for about 10 years and I came over to Scotland from America to do a degree in veterinary medicine and I fell in love with the country and my husband and I decided to stay here. So during the day then, I'm a veterinary surgeon. I work with small animals, mainly dogs, cats, rabbits, so pets really. Um, but I do see some exotics, so guinea pigs, hamsters, Degus. Um, the other day somebody brought me a wild seagull, which was pretty cool. I don't often get to see them. And yeah, so I really enjoy being a vet. Um, I'm also a mum. I've got two young boys. One is four years old and the other is one year old. And they are so much fun, um, but they are also a lot of work. And so both of these, these jobs that I have, being a mum and being a vet, um, when I put the kids to bed, I am so tired and I just need something to relax, something to do for myself and this is what I found uh, was painting and I found that it really helps me relax, it makes me really happy and I have so much fun painting and I started painting in, in January while I was on maternity leave with my youngest son. I've always done arts and crafts all my life um, but I, I came into watercolours through kind of bullet journaling. I've been bullet journaling for a while and I still do but this is kind of become a bit of a obsession recently so this is what I've been doing instead of bullet journaling recently but I'm gonna get back into it now that I have my work I'm back at work I just went back yesterday actually and now that I'm back at work I need I need to be a little bit more organized in my life so um, you might see some bullet journaling stuff up here but it'll probably be mainly painting so that's pretty much about me um, in terms of the painting, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen the kind of little series that I've been doing, the illustrations about the bear, um, which I've been calling Bear's Watercolor Adventures. Um, I couldn't really think of a better name for it, it just seemed like a good name at the time. But I started that after we went on a trip to Montana and we saw this bear, and I just thought it would be so much fun to paint this bear. But for some reason I decided to pick up a pen and do it in pen first and, and that's just sort of become my style. I just, it's the style that makes me happy. Uh, before I was doing portraits, which I really enjoyed and I did lots of Harry Potter portraits. I copied a bunch of pictures, a bunch of photos I should say, that I've taken from trips that I've been on. And I, I did find that really fun, I enjoyed it. Um, but I was finding that I was trying to be too pernickety if I was copying a photo or doing a portrait and making it absolutely perfect. And getting a bit almost frustrated when I couldn't get it to look realistic. And I think that's why I enjoy this style so much is because it is a little whimsical, it's a little fun. It doesn't matter if it looks like a realistic animal because it's meant to be kind of an anthropomorphized, fun, cute thing. So so I've been doing bears and I, I have this thing where every painting, every illustration I do has a little kind of one to two sentence story attached to it about why the bear is doing whatever it's doing. And I think it just, for me at least, it just gives me a little bit more 
kind of interest to the piece to have that little bit of a backstory and to tell you sort of why why is that creature here and I think that's also my inspiration for the paintings in general is why do these animals do what they do um, and I, I considered doing another bear that my kind of signature bear for this video but I thought I wanted to do something a little bit different just so it was exciting both for me and exciting to people that have seen my Instagram and kind of know the kind of paintings I do already so this painting, I didn't plan it out. I had no idea what I was going to paint or how I was going to paint it. I had a bunch of references from Pixabay up on the screen on my computer in front of me and I just kind of made it up as I went along. I did this painting more or less the same as I do most of my paintings. So I start with the pen first and then I do light washes of colour over everything. The order varies depending on my mood. Um, and then I go back in and do lots and lots of layers of shading and I use a lot of the same colors in every painting and I'm not really sure that's been intentional it's just been sort of how it's it's come out but in a way I kind of like it because it seems to tie them all together and it, it, I think it has contributed to this becoming a style for me and something I never ever thought I would find was a style for myself so I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it and I'm really enjoying painting all these animals and this particular painting, I'm actually really pleased with how it, it turned out overall. Um, there are a couple little things that kind of annoy me, like I messed up the eyes a little bit. They're, they're not really red panda eyes, but overall I really like it and I think it, it turned out pretty well. And I think weirdly I'm actually most proud of the background that you just saw me do because I've never really been able to pull off that blurred thing. In terms of supplies, the things that I used, I'll link them all below, but basically the um, silver brush black velvet number six I uh, used for the entire painting. Uh, it's quite a small painting, it's only about 10 by 15 centimeters, so it's not that big. <laughs> um, for the pen I used a Tombow Mono brush pen in 01, and the paper is Arches Hot Press 300 GSM or 140 pound depending on what you use. Uh, I never really liked Hot Press actually, but recently I've started using it a bit more and I'm actually kind of enjoying it. I think it just works with the pen a lot better and it's a lot smoother um, and the colors seem a bit more vibrant. Um, I love the cold press for some things but I just been, I've been really getting into the hot press recently. Anyway so as we wrap up this painting I'll just let you know what you can expect to see from this channel in the future. So I think I'm aiming for about one a month to start with so it's going to be pretty infrequent because this is actually a lot harder than I anticipated but it's a lot of fun. I've enjoyed the process. So I think I'm going to try and do one a month and then we'll see if I get the hang of it and it gets a bit easier and I find that I'm having time, then I might try and do a bit more, but we'll see what happens. And it's all going to be pretty similar to this, at least to start with. It's going to be me painting, chatting a bit <laughs> about what, I don't know. We'll come up with something. Uh, but if you have any suggestions for things, please do let me know in the comments section below. Tell me if you liked what you see, uh, if you think I could have done anything better, uh, please do let me know because I am still learning and I would always be grateful for tips. So that about does it. So thank you guys so much for watching and if you like what you see, please subscribe and let me know what you think. Um, I'd be really, really grateful to hear any comments you guys have. Feel free to check out my Instagram and my Etsy shop. They are both linked in the description box below. And I hope you guys have a brilliant day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.